All right, I think we can all agree on one thing in this world, and it is always changing. There's always things, new things coming out. It has changed so much and allowed people to do things they haven't been able to do in the past now that we have the internet and what we've got available to us. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how much money can you make off Airbnb? So I've got several points to break down for you in this video. I'm gonna show you how much does it cost each month for my Airbnb, what the expenses are, how to keep those expenses low, how much I can make on, on each one of these months of my Airbnb and have my vacation home for free. And stick around to the end, and I'm gonna show you some ninja tricks, how to bump up your cost you know, per night that an actual Airbnb tenant will pay during certain peak times and earn over $400 a night sometimes. All right, so I've done multiple Airbnbs. I started out in actually 2016 timeframe uh, when I was in the military, a brand new military officer, the army was sending me out to Fort Knox, Kentucky for about six months. And me and my wife had just bought this new house in Colorado Springs, had a new baby, and here I am. I'm leaving again with the military. I didn't want this house to sit vacant. My wife was going back to Florida to be with her mom. That way her mom could help her, uh, you know, throughout the night sometime with a brand new newborn baby. These, these babies don't sleep much during the nighttime. So our house is sitting vacant and I just can't stand you know, having something sitting vacant that I'm having to pay for each month. I had a mortgage payment of almost $1,100 a month uh, at the time, and Airbnb was still a new thing. And a friend of mine is like, dude, just rent your house on Airbnb. It's, it's already furnished, just do it. Well, guess what? I pulled the trigger. That's all he had to say was I could make some money, additional money, and not have to pay this, this $1,000 a month mortgage payment, $1,100 a month coming out of my pocket every single month. I was fine if I just covered that. Well, let me tell you, uh, this house is right next to the Cheyenne Mountain Resort in Colorado Springs. There was people coming in to the Air Force Academy to see their children graduate. There was people coming to see soldiers on Fort Carson. And this thing was booked solid for the four months. The four months that I put it on Airbnb and I was averaging about $4,000 gross per month. Well, breaking it down, my expenses were only about 1100 toward my mortgage and then I had electric and water and the gas and that was only probably maybe another $1,000. So I was clearing over $2,000 a month net profit each month for this first Airbnb and I didn't even know what I was doing. You know, the, it was just like our old couches, our hand-me-down stuff, our, our furniture that we had just gotten. And this was not even a nice Airbnb and we're netting $2,000 a month. That was my first one. I did another one down the road uh, not too long after that. Uh, we purchased a, an apartment and an airbnb that. And now uh, I'm kind of getting a good understanding, but I want to show you, I want to break this down, how much this does cost, what this would cost you, and how much money you can make from it. So growing up as a kid, my friends used to go to Lake Placid, Florida, not to be confused with Lake Placid, New York, uh, where they filmed that huge alligator movie. This is Lake Placid, Florida. Not too many alligators in this lake of Florida because it's like clear sandy bottom, so the alligators don't prefer that. Now they are in Lake Placid, uh, but my childhood dream was to go out on this lake, you know, ski, fish, tube, kneeboard, and my friends got to do it all the time. And me, uh, growing up, I had to work during the summertime. So I didn't really get to go to the lake much. I didn't have a lake house, we didn't have a boat. So I had to get an invitation from a friend that had you know, the ability to go over there. So it was a childhood dream to buy my own lake house, my own house on Lake Placid. So I found out a way to do it and it was through Airbnb. So I'm here to show you, I'm gonna break down my numbers of exactly what it cost me each month to own this Airbnb, what I make, and I wanna show you exactly what's going on with it. All right, let me break down some numbers for you. You probably can't see, you probably can see the image here. We're gonna attach it. This is a picture of my Airbnb in Lake Placid, the beautiful lake, the blue house. But I wanna break down the actual monthly expenses. So I'm gonna read them off here. You know, the first expense, and I don't even know if I can call this an expense, it's our cleaning fee. This is what we pay our cleaners to go in and clean this house, reset this house. That way it's absolutely perfect, like hotel type style when they come in. Like the sheets are washed, the, everything's swept and mopped and smells great in there. But we pay a cleaning fee of $200 per cleaning. Now, here's the cool thing. We roll that over to the guest. The guest pays that. And sometimes you'll have people complain, oh, that's a high cleaning fee. Well, 
Good luck if you pay a lower cleaning fee. You know, you wanna pay your cleaners good money because they are your eyes and ears. They tell you when things break, when things need replaced, when things need restocked. Like all that is included in this cleaning fee. So it's very well spent. Next is lawn service. We make sure the lawn is mowed every single week. You know, sometimes it doesn't need it every week. Well, the lawn man will just go by and just blow off the, the sidewalk. And usually we have this done on a Thursday because everyone likes to come in Friday. So it's just like well kept and just freshly mowed. Next, our electric bill. You know, we look at the average of what it costs each month and it averages about $250 a month because everyone likes to drop the air conditioner down to 69 degrees, leave all the doors open and the air conditioner just goes out. Air bill kind of stays high, but you just gotta factor those things in. They're paying for a great time. They're paying them like my Airbnb, I get $250 a night average. So who cares if they drop the air conditioner down and run all the lights? And that's another thing. I like to have LED lights. That way if they leave the lights on 24 seven, it's not costing anything. Next is water. You know, on average we pay about $50 a month for the water. You know, you wanna come in and take the nice long showers. You're on vacation. Next is maintenance and improvements. Now I think it's generally around 100 to $200 a month because something is always gonna break. One of the things that break quite a bit for us are the screen doors. Like people slam them, come and go, and this, the latches get broken off. So we just figure that in. It's gonna happen. It's just just maintenance and then you're gonna have to paint once a year you know you always want to be adding that money up and sometimes you know it costs a little bit more than a 100 or 200 dollars a month but that's on a shoestring budget you probably should you know account for probably a little over 200 dollars per month of maintenance just putting that money away for when it's time to fix those doors when it's time to get that painter in there because you want to have a nice you know fresh paint for your guests because they're paying great money to stay there next is supplies each month that costs us about 200 dollars a month for toilet paper and paper paper towels and coffee and Kleenexes and we provide the soap and everything. We want a, a great experience. And then the mortgage payment. My mortgage payment on my Lake Placid, Florida house is $1,534 a month. That's kind of a large mortgage payment on about $260,000. I paid $305,000 for this house. I didn't get it at a discount. I paid retail value for it. Now it's probably worth maybe 360 about a year and a half later. So, you know, the mortgage is paying down every month and then the appreciation is going up and I also get tax benefits for that. Next is the security system. I highly recommend having a security system on your house so when it sits vacant, you can arm the alarm. You can see what the temperature of your house is set at, the thermostat. You can make sure your doors are locked. You can see the camera outside. And this cost me roughly about $62 per month to have all this. And we can unlock the door for a guest or the handyman that's got to get in. And we give everyone their individual codes. So we usually give them like the last four digits of their cell phone number. So that way they don't lock themselves out while they're on vacation. These are all little things I've learned over the, I'm, and I'm not like an Airbnb genius. I've only done three of them, uh, three Airbnbs total so far, but you learn a lot from each one. Next is internet, $61 a month for the internet. You want to have very fast, high speed, reliable internet. Cause if you're streaming four TVs and a cell phone and a tablet and someone's doing a Zoom call, you wanna make sure the internet is good for your guests, especially especially if they're renting it for a couple weeks to work from home. Next is Price Labs. Price Lab is that ninja trick I'm telling you about. I pay $49 a month for Price Labs. What does Price Labs do? It jacks the price up when there's high demand for my rental. So there's something that goes on in March in Sebring, Florida. It's the races. I can get 475 a night for some of these nights and Price Labs does this automatically for me. I don't have to think about it. It does it. We just had a booking that I'll show you for four nights that we're getting $2,100. That's a little over $400 a night, $2,100. And you can see the snapshot here of March, 2022 here, $2,100. And this is just from Airbnb. I've got it on VRBO. I've got it on some other sites, but this is just the snapshot of what we're making with Airbnb. Next is pest control. It averages about $25 per month. And this keeps the mice and the rats and the roaches and the ants away because no guest ever wants to see your rodents running around. I mean, it's Florida. And then we had the same thing in Colorado. Like there's always gonna be some type of rodent. We used to live in the deserts of Colorado. Sometimes it would be the moths. Sometimes it would be the tarantula. Sometimes it would be the scorpions. You just gotta have the pest control because your guests don't wanna see the pest. And then 
That's really it. All added up, that adds up to about $2,400 a month in expenses. That's average for the year. And then if you look at it, if you look at my screenshots and I went through my bank accounts, in the last nine months, we averaged a gross revenue of $4,087.33 per month. Incoming revenue on our Airbnb, and we spent $24.22. That was our expenses, cleaning all that stuff. So on average, we're netting about, after management fee, you gotta figure the management fee, and, they, and I get charged 10% of gross revenue. So that's really a great investment. My manager does amazing. You know, she takes care of all of it. She answers all the messages, and they charge 10% which is, it's just awesome. So roughly 10% after, if you take that 10% management fee, all the expenses, I'm still netting a net profit each month of $1,256.59 to own my Airbnb, you know, to have that dream home, to allow my kids to, to enjoy the the dream that I had. So I'm getting to live it, live through it because of Airbnb, because of like, you know, these crowd platforms that allow us to rent out our homes and make a ton of cash doing it. All right, so I have a quick tip. I've got something that will give you so much more profit on your Airbnbs. If you follow these few little guidelines I'm gonna give you, I can assure you, you will sometimes double triple your annual revenue on your Airbnb. But before I do, you've got to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my channel. I'm known as a land guy, a very successful coaching course called the Land Sharks. Definitely subscribe to this channel. And then here we go. Here's my quick tip. You know, people in Colorado and Florida, they're looking for the unique experience on their Airbnb. And I'm just using those two states because those are, are the only states that I'm in as far as Airbnbs that I own. So in Colorado, let me tell you this ninja tip. Two filters, two filters that people are searching for is one is a hot tub and two is a fireplace. So if you're looking to start an Airbnb or buy an Airbnb or improve your Airbnb or even your home, put a hot tub and a fireplace. And it doesn't have to be wood burning, it could be gas. These are the two main filters people are searching for in Colorado. In Florida, people are searching for like gyms and they're also searching for, you know, the outdoor backyard experience like kayaks or bikes, or the gym could be literally a treadmill and some weights in the garage. These filters that you check the box on Airbnb, this is what people are searching for. This is how they can find you faster. So if you offer more filters than others, you're gonna show up more in the search filters. Literally, I bought a bread maker, a $100 bread maker, and stuck it under the counter because that was a filter in Airbnb. Do you think people are going on vacation and making bread? Heck no, that thing has been sitting in the box for one year brand new, but I checked the box on that filter. So use that quick tip, it's gonna increase your revenue. That $100 I spent on the bread maker, I guarantee you has 10X. I guarantee it's maybe an extra $1,000. All right, I mentioned that I was the Land Sharks instructor. You know, I am known as the land guy. I've made my fortune in buying raw land. And guys, as you know, the real estate market is absolutely exploding exploding right now. So I've got a tried and true method that I teach my students how to buy land at maximum, maximum discounts and sell this stuff in your sleep. You know, if you're interested in checking it out, head over to thelandsharks.com. All right, so that link to thelandsharks.com is just below in the description.